Hi, this is Brian Oliva from Get Somebody Music. Coming to you from the underground isolation bunker, where up until now we've successfully avoided the coronavirus. I hope you're all doing fine. I'm doing pretty well. I'll be a little shaggier than what I'm used to. Uh, I think in another month or so, uh, I'll be back in form for how I looked in 1973. Let me know what you think. Anyway, last week, Moog released Firmware Update 2.0 for the Mother 32, which included some significant improvements to functionality. Today, I'm going to highlight some of the changes, and we'll finish with a demo of how the Mother 32 can now play well with others. So, let's get to it. We'll start by initializing the pattern like usual, and the first thing you'll see is new visual feedback, where when initializing a pattern, the octave and location LEDs will sweep from right to left in red to show you that the pattern's been initialized. We'll now program just a simple scale for demonstration purposes. And when you play it, the default mode is that it'll just play in sequence like it always has. But now there's three additional modes that allow you to change up the sequencer. If you press and hold the two arrow keys, KB and STEP, and then also press the number 2, that will reverse the sequence. Holding KB and STEP and the number 3, we'll switch it to a pendulum mode where it will go up and down the scale. KB step in the number 4 puts it into a random pattern. To return to the regular forward default, you just press KB step and 1. In addition to the new visual feedback shown in the last segment, where the octave location lights sweep uh, right to left in red to show the pattern was initialized, there are three other new features. Now saving a pattern successfully will cause the octave location lights to sweep to the center in green to show that the pattern was saved. If you cancel the save operation, those same lights will sweep to the center in red. And when selecting a bank number, the bank number LED will now be shown in yellow, so it won't be confused with the pattern number LED, which will be shown in green. Uh, this is all covered on page 8 of the manual addendum that comes with the firmware update, so be sure to take a good look at that. But most of the other new features I want to talk about are controlled in the global settings. One problem I've uh, had was getting my Mother 32 and DFAM to play well with my Aturia Drum Brute. Even though the settings seemed to be the same, I could never get the Moog instruments to sync with the Aturia clock. They just run full speed at about 300 beats per minute and couldn't be slowed. So the new firmware makes several improvements to the tempo input feature, as shown on page 3 in the addendum. The single clock advance, which is the default, didn't seem to be compatible with the Aturia, but the new improved Mode 3 analog clock seemed to take care of the problem. There are now a total of four different clocking modes, with new multiple options, but we won't cover those today. Setup mode now has many more options. Seven of the eight available pages are now in use. As a reminder, setup mode is entered by pressing and holding Shift, Reset, Set End, and the Step 8 button in sequence. The tempo LED will start blinking yellow to show that you're in setup mode. One of the octave uh, location LEDs will light solid yellow to show you what page you're on, and each page can have up to 16 options. So options 1 through 8 are selected by pushing one of the step buttons, and that'll result in the corresponding LED, uh, step LED to light green to indicate which is selected. Options 9 through 16 are selected by holding the shift key and then pressing one of the eight step buttons, which will result in the corresponding LED to light red. If the option selected happens to be the same as the page number, that LED will alternate between yellow and red or green as appropriate. On the eight setup pages, page one is now the assignable output jack function. Uh, the new default for that is the sequencer clock. Page two is all the MIDI channel selection. Page 3 is the tempo input jack mode, and there are several new features uh, added in version 2.0. Page 4 is the clock input, PPQN. Uh, that's new for version 2. 
That's uh, pulses per quarter note. It's now adjustable uh, in several different ways. Page 5 is the clock output for PPQN. And that's also new in this version. Uh, page 6 offers several different ways to set the default for saving uh, patterns. Uh, page 7 is reserved for, uh, for Moog's use or future use, I guess. And page 8 is the on and off settings, uh, which is also new, new for version 2. So to wrap things up, uh, we're just going to do a little demo. Uh, we've got an Arturia Drum Brute. Uh, that'll be the master clock. The clock from that is split out to the Moog Grandmother and the Moog Mother 32. And uh, the Mother 32 is then using the assigned jack to send the clock to the DFAM. So basically the Arturia clock is going to be controlling four different synthesizers in total. And uh, somewhere in the middle we'll slow down and then speed up the tempo uh, just using the, the drum brute. And you'll see how they can all now respond to it and stay in sync. And uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you like what you see, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much, and we'll catch you later. Oh, <laughs> oh,